We have got a couple things going on here. I'm trying to just get an idea of exactly what's happening. Some registers in the dining room are condensating. And then they said the kitchen wasn't running at all. So this is dining room. That's kitchen. And I got heat coming out of both of them. So, dining room's comfortable. It's about 60, 68 degrees in there. Economizer's closed. So, the heat that they're getting in the, <clears throat> in the kitchen, I'm wrong, this is dining room. Those are both labeled dining room. You got some hail damage. You got decent airflow, they don't feel awful. I'm not sure where this goes, but I got heat coming out of it. Now I got heat coming out of this guy, but I don't see any condensation on that compressor. This is going to be the kitchen, I believe. Now I can't even get the panel back on. Okay, I don't see the condensation, but I am getting condensation coming out of there. So it's running <clears throat> because my kitchen's warmer. They said it wasn't working. I'm just curious. About my makeup air. Oh yeah. Check it out. Oh, it's looking at the sun. Alright. Um we're gonna have to clean the filters. Yeah, great. Try not to break the filters. I think they're already broken. These metal mesh filters are fragile sometimes. I'm probably going to take them down. Usually, I'll take them down and put them through the dishwasher. Unless I've got water access up here. I don't think I do, so they're gonna have to go down. And then the dishwasher is just easier. I don't know, I gotta see what I got down there. Ain't nothing over there. I bet that's what's happening. This, no exhaust here. But these are my, this is my hood exhaust. And they're running. So, looks like everything's running. This might be an easy call. We just got no makeup air with the filters being dirty. We'll see how it does now. Um, I don't know. The drive and everything else is going to be down inside. It's got a tag on it. But, um, I got both condensers running and condensating. And I believe this does have a drive on it. But I think we're going to be okay with just maybe fixing our filters. We'll try to get temp drops on everything else. Uh, this dining room just satisfied. Lower sounds okay. I don't know when, in the last time, any of this stuff was cleaned. I mean, this coil's beat the hell up, but I'll check on when they were cleaned last. But, uh,. I mean, check it out. We just satisfied everything. That's satisfied. This is the only dining room still running. That was the side. The one that just shut off is the side. It's, it's closest to the kitchen on, over here. So this is uh, probably an uneasy fix with just uh, cleaning some makeup air filters. So much easier than a water hose. I'm just 
hiding in the shade now, but we got a little airflow. Um, VFD's right on the cook line. I've got, uh, it's running at like 50 hertz. I, this is a captive air system. I know it's all set up and supposed to be correct from captive air. We all know how that goes, but I don't want to go adjusting too much to throw things off, but I've got, I've got humidity issues. Um, regardless, this isn't helping, but I went to look at the thermostats. All the thermostats are satisfied except for the kitchen. Obviously the kitchen's always going to be a little warm, but they're all set on 65 degrees. So this guy satisfied at 65 degrees earlier. I need to get a temp drop and check on maintenance, like I said, but from what they're telling me is their concrete floors condensate if they don't set it that low. I don't know how true any of that is, um, but I mean, they obviously talking to a manager that knows their restaurant better than I do, so I'm not gonna argue with them. And I don't wanna make things worse because it's uh looks like it might be cracked just a hair it's friday and i happen to be the on-call guy so not only do i not want to set the on-call guy up for failure i don't want to set me up for failure and i don't want to come back and mess with this thing anymore this thing's satisfying now so i think we're gonna be okay i bet they couldn't keep up um, we probably, I don't know what the humidity issues are. These, all these are kind of cookie cutter chain restaurants that never get done right and they get hacked up. Uh, this one's not that old, I don't think. So whatever's been done or whatever problems exist are uh, problems that have been around for as long as the building. So I don't want to go make anything worse. I'm going to call and check on some things and then we'll see where we go from there. But seems like all the air conditions working though. we probably need an air balance or the acs may not have ever been sized right there's probably a whole lot going on here welcome to the restaurant world that's why you can have your restaurants but we're gonna check everything i think we're gonna be all right keep it simple don't overthink things you got dirty filters on the makeup it's gonna cause all kinds of problems and i think all that humidity that we had in the kitchen was rolling right out into the dining area here it's not a real big area and we had condensating uh diffusers so, i don't know how well you can see well, that one of the acs was froze up so i saw some ice in there and that's going to be just because of the just because of the dirty filters which we've corrected max hertz 49 i set it to 55 i'm just going to see how it does play with it i got a little bit of time here it's the end of the day I don't think I'm going anywhere else. I just pulled my relay on the frozen one and uh, I'm letting that thaw out and we'll plug that back in shortly. On that one there. Uh, I got some baseline uh, temp humidity readings in the space. Uh, dining area was, it was running about 65 degrees and about between 62 and 65% humidity. It was quite sticky in there, but they say the floor is condensated. They don't keep it that cold. Um, I think we've solved some of their problems. Their, their biggest problem today was obviously the filters, but they've got other problems too. Captive Air just called me back. Their max settings, which what they were in today, max flow, what they set it in every day apparently, because it works best that way. Uh, they were at 27, the exhaust fans, 27 and 30 hertz. Uh, 27, the, the men's are supposed to be 37 and 39 hertz. Max is 42 and 43. That's from captive air. That's probably the engineering numbers. That wasn't I'm sure there probably wasn't an air balance done, but if there was, those aren't those numbers. But it gives us a baseline and a starting point. The supply fan, I did ramp up to 60 hertz, and when they called me back, that's actually get my shit straight here. That's actually what the max setting should have been. Uh, there's no min setting on the supply fan, but it should have been 60 hertz. I did write it up as they may need an, uh, an, a complete air balance done. I'm sure it was never done in the first place. Obviously, they've got humidity issues. I don't know if the air balance will help, but getting at least a baseline and starting somewhere to start from now, at least that'll give us a starting point, and then we can see where we go from there. So enjoy the weekend. I'm going to go do the same thing. Leave the tray where you found it.